In this video session, we are going to discuss about validation rules. So what is the use of validation rules? So you can avoid storing of unnecessary data in the database. And this is the one of the way to can make a field is a mandatory. For example, you can take a phone number field. So in the phone number field, according to India, if you are entering less than 9 digits or less than 10 digits, or if you are entering more than 10 digits, it is a wrong format for India. So you can avoid to storing these kinds of data in the database. So let's see some small video demonstration how to create a validation rule in Salesforce. So here we are going to create a validation rule in this phone field. So consider that some patient name and uh, it's okay. Consider that I have entered a patient name and I selected a doctor also. Now I am just keeping this phone field as null and I am saving this record. So record gets saved but I want to make the phone number field as mandatory. That means I want to make this for the uh, user has user must that user must should enter the user must and should enter the phone number and if I give less than 10 digits then also that record will get saved right so I don't want the phone number should be less than 10 digits or more than 10 digits that phone number should be exact that phone number should be exact 10 digits in India as well as I don't want any unnecessary text to be saved in the phone number so how to achieve this scenario through the validation rule that one we'll see right now so to create validation rule first go to this view fields here you can find there is an option called validation rule select new so first give the name of the validation I will give phone validation and make this validation rule as active first one is I don't want to be this phone number field should be blank so here we have some functions in this there is a option called is blank so is blank of phone so insert the field first phone number shouldn't be blank second one this phone number should not be less than 10 digits and there is one more function called length length of the phone should be 10 digits so length of the phone not equals 10 and third one that field this phone field if not contain numbers So I want this phone number if it is not having any numbers then it has to throw the error. In case it contains number it should not throw any errors. So here you have one more function called R. So open this R here logic 1. Logic 1 R logic 2 or logic 3 after the commas you can give the logics so you can separate the lines like this for your better understanding you can segregate the lines so this is logic 1 logic 2 and logic 3 and check for the syntax so no errors found so what type of error message we have to give enter phone number in proper format so where the error should display top of the page or near to the phone field so if you give top of the page it will display in the top of the page if you give field and if you select 
in which field you want to throw the error in which field this error should display so save the validation rule now now I'm trying to insert a new record there is a patient name and I selected the doctor so here first I'm checking with the blank save the record so enter the phone number so it throws the validation in case if you select top of the field that error will be displayed under this okay, next validation logic 2 so if it is phone number is not equal 10 digits it don't take and if it is more than 10 digits also it will never take it should be exact 10 digits if you enter any text then also it will be an error so it will take only 10 digits so that's all about the validation rules